The Small and Tall Ball, a story about diversity and inclusion by Frank J. Silo. Illustrated by Katie Dwyer. The Small and Tall Ball. Mrs. Parker's class chattered happily as they blew up balloons and cut streamers. This Friday, the class was hosting the annual mother-son and father-daughter dance. I'm so excited to wear my purple dress, said Abby. My mom bought me a new suit, Liam announced. Oliver watched from his desk, and he wasn't in a good mood. What's wrong, Oliver? Logan asked. Aren't you excited about the dance? Oliver shook his head. I'm not going, he whispered. Well, why not? Abby asked, twirling around the table. I can't go to the mom and son dance because I have two dads. And there's no dad and son dance. Oh, I'm sorry, Oliver. I wish, I wish you could come, Logan said. Valentina reached over to Oliver. I can't go to the dance either. My dad's in the military and he's out of the country. What? That's not fair, Emily shouted. Mrs. Parker heard Emily shouting and came over to find out what's wrong. Well, Oliver can't go to the dance because he has two dads and Valentina can't go to the dance because her dad is away. Costa was listening from the other table and said, I can't go either. I live with my grandparents, and it's a mom and son dance, not an Abuelita and Nieto dance. Why can't we have a dance that includes everyone? Emily asked. Yeah, then Valentina could bring her mom instead of her dad, and Oliver could just bring both of his dads. Oliver thought about how nice it would be to have his family included. His dad was so fun, and he knew he'd have a great time with them. Can I bring my abuelita? You could bring anyone who's special to you, Logan said. A mom or a dad, a grandpa or an aunt, a coach or a family friend. Oliver smiled. This idea was starting to sound better and better. Mrs. Parker sat down on Oliver's desk to think. Finally, she said, I don't see why not. But the dance will need a new name. What should we call it? How about the small and tall ball? That rhymes, <laughs> Abby giggled. I like it, said Valentina. The grown-ups are tall and we are small. Yeah, said Liam, but what's a ball? Well, a ball is a fancy word for a dance, said Emily. Valentina grinned and stood up. A small and tall ball for all. <laughs> that rhymes too, said Abby. This time, everyone started laughing. They were all feeling good about the dance. Now. You know, Oliver said, picking up a glue stick. I think this poster could use some more glitter. On Friday night, family started arriving for the ball. The small and tall ball for all. It was a fabulous time. Oliver beamed as he and his dad into the gym in matching suits. Valentina waved at her mom and then asked Oliver to dance. All night long, the kids danced with their special someone and with each other. There were slow dances and fast dances. There were group dances. It didn't matter if you could dance well or had two left feet. As the ball was ending, Oliver gathered his friends. Thanks for making sure my family was included tonight. Being left out is never fun. Oliver's friends grinned. It had been a special night for those small and those tall. Everyone was welcome and everyone was included. 
the end. Hey, 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 it's the every time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's the every time with Miss J. Let's get reading story time with Miss J. Let's get thinking story time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's the every time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's the every time with Miss J. Happy reading.